Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the Houseco Gamer. Today, we are dealing with the storm clouds that are about to gather. Roll the intro. Head to DS9 as soon as you're able. Yeah, they didn't do anything for that, did they? Anyway, there has been a big changeover. I am now using STD-themed starships for this tune. I absolutely refuse to use their equipment. That being said, I do have a set of STD phaser packs. Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Come on. The High Council has announced several challenges to the Empire worthy of a warrior such as yourself. Would you like to review them? This is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Hello. Nice to be working with you again. I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Admiral Quinn's office is behind those doors. Hmm. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Here is Proconsul Deton's office. This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. Chancellor Jempok has an office here. This summit may not end well. Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. 
They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. Ambassador Odo is here, coordinating security efforts. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? There are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Ron. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. I believe the Kai is here, in the Bajoran Temple. Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them, so... Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Herc, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're gonna take a journey together soon. As Kai, I'm obligated to serve the will of the Prophets. Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. There's been a lot of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Herc. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example whenever possible, but it's... It's been a challenge. Something else on your mind? My father is in my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> it looks like Counselor Garrick is in his old tailor shop. Huh. Hello there. I... Take it you're not here to update your ensemble, though if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace, and one we should deal with swiftly. Surprised? <laughs> Don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered a hand. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, we're doomed. Once upon a time, when I was but a tailor. That was before plain, simple Garrick became a member of the Detapa Council, of course. Before the Reconstruction and the Iconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor. Just Garrick. Will there be...
I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this, and as far away from it as possible. That changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. We would have been wiped out without help, and we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few Nakul ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well... It wasn't easy, believe me. I've managed to get the board of liquidators with us for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profit. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest, well, let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Herc have me thinking about adding a new rule of acquisition. If they can't be bought, get ready to fight! Did you... The Alliance has asked a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill, even my Uncle Quark. Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. Then again, DS9's always been a trouble magnet. <laughs> I guess peace is a little too much to ask for around here. My husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately. He's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best ever, as far as I'm concerned, but <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees. People who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that, if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Was there something else? So, they dragged you into this too, huh? Can't say I'm too surprised. You've come a long way since your scrap with the Klingons as a cadet. I'm here because my fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Herc, 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. If you ask me, we'd be better off sealing that wormhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It'll cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, and a billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Might finally land that exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Can I get you something? Ah. 
Hello. It's been a while since that business at Corvat, hasn't it? You're looking well. My compliments to your CMO. As you can see, I've been recently recommissioned. I'm doing what I can to get things in order here after that business with the Zenkethi and the Herc. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. A lot more. Yeah, the Corvant missions, those were removed. A shame, too. They made more sense than the STD ones. Involved the Guardian of Forever, too. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Herc Dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. I mustered out some time ago to start a private practice on Trill. Since then, I've worked on special projects for Starfleet from time to time as a consultant. Even managed to start a family. <laughs> Needless to say, I wasn't initially thrilled with the idea of putting the uniform on again. Still, it's very hard to say no to Kai Kira and Captain Dax. And so here I am, back on the front of an interstellar conflict. Here's hoping it's a brief one. Something on your mind? There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. We're lucky to be alive, friend. There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. We sent a call to the Founders, but no Jem'Hadar ships came. Our local defense force didn't last long. A few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. There's stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us on our prison moon to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If the Founders won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the Prophets will. It must be a surprise seeing Karemans here on a Federation station. Let that sink in for a minute. It's so bad in the Dominion that its citizens are looking for safe haven with their former enemies. We were the lucky ones. We got out early. I've heard rumors about a blockade keeping the rest of us from leaving the homeworld. It might be true. I haven't seen any more Karemans arrive here for a while now. Oh, please. The Founders have forsaken us. Don't let the Alliance turn their backs on us, too. Gwen here. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. Interesting. Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable. But I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Well, everyone's here, and no one started shooting. Could be worse. That was a joke. Take a moment to relax, speak with the others. Things will be serious soon enough. Jem Park is more of a political creature than he was. Well, when we were both a lot younger. He's not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Grethar waits for their worthless souls. Know this. There are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire! Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. I believe so, yes. 
The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. Greetings. It is agreeable to see you, especially outside the confines of Facility 4028. I'm glad we had a moment to talk before the summit begins. I trust you relayed everything you learned from us to your superiors. If I may be so bold, I hope that you conveyed a need for cooperation with the Founders as well. At least in matters regarding the Herc, if not in all things. I'm glad you're here. I've been feeling conflicted lately. All the worlds we saved from the Zenkethi were also home to thousands of dormant Herc. By saving those planets, we also saved a great number of enemies. Those very enemies have since attacked a number of worlds, including my own. You're right, of course. If only there'd been another way to resolve things. If the Zenkethi would have listened to reason. I suppose we should place our hope in working together to stop the Herc. I can't help but think there's a path to peaceful resolution in all of this. There's got to be some way to end this madness before more lives are lost. If I can have everyone's attention, thank you. Let's begin the summit. We have a lot to discuss. Thank you all for coming. By now, you should be aware of our tactical situation. The Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. We've withdrawn to our core systems, and the lines are holding, for now. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What about your outer systems? We're receiving refugees here, from those areas. We have one fleet left, Admiral. That's hardly enough to defend the entire Dominion. I'm failing to see how this concerns the Empire. The recent battle here is a sample of what the Herc can do. If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. Need I remind you that the Dominion came to your aid in the Iconian War? I seem to recall Klingons placing high value on debts of honor, or has that changed? Mind your tongue, Changeling! I will not be insulted! Admiral Quinn to Ops, what's happening? We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc! Reading Herc boarding parties! Multiple decks! They've concentrated in the damaged pylon, or processing area. I need you to get to that damaged pylon section and lock it down, before the Herc trigger an explosion that could wreck the station.
Nice work, but it's not over yet. The Herc have moved into the ore processing area above your position. There's a lot of unstable uranium ore in there. If they damage it, it could ignite and set off a chain reaction that could destroy the pylon. You'll need to make your way up there to secure the area and restart the safety systems there. Mm. Looks like the access system in this section was reset. You'll need to rotate the central column and extend the bridges in order to reach the next section. Almost in the clear. The safety systems for the area are currently offline. You'll need to restore power to that section and reinitialize the safety systems to get everything back online. systems are reinitializing. They should be up and running in a few minutes. Nice work. Hold on. I'm picking up multiple Herc life signs in your area. They're converging on your position. I need you to defend that section from the Herc until the system comes online again. If they get in before that happens, they could knock it offline again, or worse.
The Herc are attacking the station and several civilian vessels in the system. I've sent ships to assist them, but I'm concerned our forces are spread too thin. I'd like you to work with those ships to protect the civilians while the rest of us defend the station. First Dukon Rex will accompany you as a combat escort. Starfleet vessels, this is Quinn. Protect civilian targets. Warning. Ship is under attack. <laughs> there's bad news. We're picking up Herc vessels and they're heading our way. The station's weapon systems are offline. We need a few minutes to get them up and running. Until then, we're sitting duck over here. I've asked every ship in the sector to regroup and prepare for battle. Let's hope it's enough.
system online in 60 seconds. Don't let the big swarm get behind you. was the last of them. We're not picking up any Herx ships on long-range sensors, for now, at least. I think it's clear that the Dominion is prepared to work with you to stop the enemy. I hope the Federation is ready to do the same. Hmm. In the meantime, our fleet will do what it can to keep the Herc on our side of the wormhole. Tell Admiral Quinn not to wait too long to make a decision. This will reach the Federation faster than anyone would like, believe me.
The Herc threat is real, and we can't afford to let it expand throughout the galaxy. There will be resistance to getting involved, but I believe we have no choice. The Federation must render aid to the Dominion if we're to have any chance of stopping the Herc onslaught. In the meantime, Kai Kira of Bajor has requested a mission to the Innis system, and Ambassador Odo has authorized it. The Kai has asked for our assistance on this. She asked for you by name. Whatever she needs, make it so. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.